today I'm going to show you how to make a mineral gel from using your sea moss. Now yesterday I showed you how to prepare the sea moss in two easy steps without doing the gel. But today we're going to do it the gel method. And here's how. Well first of all, I have a dehydrated piece of sea moss here. Now the sea moss is a sea algae which contains 92 of the minerals that our body's composed of. And I usually put it in a bowl like this and I give it a good wash to get out any sediment that's left in the sea moss. I give it three washes before I rinse it and then I soak it in the last lot of water once it's nice and clear and clean and I keep it soaked overnight. Once I've soaked it overnight, as you can see, it hydrates and swells and if you can see, I'll take a kind of bunch of the sea moss here to show you. It's got these fine, what look like noodles on the sea moss and I'm going to take a couple of bunches here because we're going to make a gel. Now all I've got to do is get my, my blender and pop it in here. And I'm also going to use some of the water from the bowl that the sea moss has been soaking in because we've got lots of minerals swimming around in this water here. So we don't want to waste that. We want to use that up when we're blending our sea moss. So in go a few spoons of water. And if you have a lot of sea moss and you find that you need more to make a, the blend, you can add more water, but use either spring water or mineral water, purely for the minerals. Right, so I filled it just over the sea moss level here. And I'm going to start blending so that we can get our sea moss gel. Now one thing to mention, if you haven't got a strong blender, strong blending blade, the motor has to be pretty, pretty strong. Then if it isn't, just cut your sea moss into pieces so it doesn't wrap around the blade and um, mess up your motor. Right, so let me just move this out of the way so I can show you what the gel looks like. Look, there you have it, if you can see. Um, the gel is nicely blended and it's a thick liquid gel form. Now you can make it thicker, but what happens is it actually thickens up in the fridge anyway into a jelly form. Now, like I mentioned, you can use this in, in a few culinary dishes. I use it in my baking as well. I even use it on, to apply to my skin because it's extra nourishing. It firms the skin. It gives your skin a soft glow. It's nice and cooling and it's hydrating and it's great for severe dry skin as well. I also put it in my soups, my smoothies and my sauces. And I'm experimenting a lot with sea moss lately. But you can also put it in your herbal tea. And here I've got um, sorrel, as it's called in the Caribbean. And I've got the, I've got the flowers steeping here. In Europe, it's known as hibiscus. And it's a nice dark berry leaf. And I've just, um, I've just boiled up some water. I've soaked 
my sorrel and I get my sorrel sourced from the Caribbean. It's a lovely, rich berry flavor. It's really good in terms of the rich um, antioxidants, the vitamin C content, so it's great for your immune system. And in order to get your um, sea moss intake, two tablespoons are all you need a day. I'm gonna add it to my tea, just one, two, that's all you need. Two tablespoons is sufficient so that you are not overdoing the iodine because you never know when the iodine is higher or lower in the sea moss. So just give that a mix to blend in our sea moss gel. And I find that sorrel is really good to use with the, in this uh, with sea moss because it doesn't dampen down the flavor. It still maintains its lovely berry flavor. Look at that lovely, rich red tea. And it's got such a lovely berry smell. And I added ginger to this one and I've added a bit of clove as well and a touch of cinnamon. And it's absolutely lovely. It's so delicious and you can even have it as a cold beverage as well with crushed ice and mint. I love it that way in the summer. So that's all there is. And if you haven't seen yesterday's video, I prepared it in the sea moss gel in two easy steps without the gel form, which is even easier for those who don't want to have to fuss around with the gel preparation. So watch the video that we did yesterday. And if you want to find authentic wild crafted sea moss, click the link below where you can find it along with the sorrel tea. Thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow.